So here is how it, it comes if you're thinking about getting an eco spinner. I got one of these because we don't have laundry here at the apartments where I live. Um, it's similar to a salad spinner, the same technology, which I think is rather clever. Um, there's no assembly required. Uh, you simply uh, get, this is the open basket. This is the top. And you just spin it uh, once it's been filled. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it and do, uh, do it the way the instructions say, and I'm gonna see if it works. The other cool thing was that, look what they sent me. They sent me a rack for stuff to hang in the bathroom, which I just really appreciate because I ordered a large rack uh, separate. Uh, but this should get me taken care of until my rack shows up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions. I'm going to do about three pounds of, of laundry and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this I can already tell is going to be really helping you save on laundry detergent. I used two tablespoons per three pound load and I bought this pie at a discount store. So we're talking about me having enough laundry soap probably for six months uh, from an initial investment of about $4. So I'm already seeing where the cost come in. So you fill it up halfway and you add two tablespoons of soap. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some dark clothes and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin it a couple of times, let it sit for a couple of minutes because I've heard that's a better way of doing it. And then I'll uh, spin it the other way and uh, I'm going to let it soak a little bit and then afterwards uh, we'll spin the water out, we'll hang it, and then I'll let you know how it did. Oh, I also want to say that I spent uh, $67 on this. If you're thinking about getting an eco uh, uh, spinner uh, on Amazon, I will link the information below. I, if it does what I think it's going to do, I'm already really happy with this purchase. You can see I just filled it, I just took off the top and just filled it with water directly. If you have a small apartment and you're tired of dragging yourself down to the laundry mat, I think this may, may be a really good solution. Okay, so they say to let it spin for about two minutes, but I've also heard that it can go longer. It should be a gentle spin. It's not going to hurt. It's not a tough spin or anything. It's pretty easy to do. And you just gently spin it uh, for two minutes. But I went ahead and spinned it for about one minute, let it rest for five minutes. I came back, I spinned it again for a couple of minutes, then I'm spinning it again. You know, I'm taking my time. You can go ahead and let it soak if you have some laundry that needs extra soaking and then once you've let it do its thing like I have done for I think I think I did about 10 minutes you can go ahead and just drain it there you go and then I will go ahead and fill it and it, I'll uh, do a spin with the new water and then I will do another spin and that'll be the rinse. Okay, so I drained the water. You spin it with the valve open and then you fill it up again and you rinse it a couple times. And as you can see, it did a great job. I liked the fact that when I spinned it open, it came out that I didn't have to wring it by hand. That was really, really pretty cool. So there you have it. The Eco Spin is pretty easy to use. It's extremely lightweight. It packs in your the back of your car. If you happen to be going on a long camping trip with your family, just bring some 
uh, clotheslines that you can uh, fold up and uh, clothes pins and you're ready to rock and roll if you are going on a long trip with your family. If you're in a small apartment that doesn't have laundry and you're trying to save money on laundry, I think over time you can definitely get your money back. Here in LA, it's $1.75 per wash and about 50 to 75 cents to dry. So that means you're talking about $2.50 per load. Um, if you're doing about three, two or three loads a week for a single person, you do the math. Um, you know I'm not very good at math. <laughs> but um, you're talking about 10 to $12 uh, a week or approximately, we'll say, uh, we'll say 20 to $30 a month realistically to do laundry if you're using a coin uh, system. And so you would get your money back probably in about three, realistically three, four months, you'd get your money back. Uh, my criticism, the handle when you uh, do the spinning seemed a little precarious. I was worried it was gonna break. So uh, hold it f uh, close to the base and move very, very slowly. Don't overload it. Always put your soap in first before your water. And never be top heavy. Don't don't have huge loads. Uh, keep up on your laundry. If you have to do two, three small loads a, a week, go for it. Obviously, blankets and heavier stuff you're going to probably have to take to the coin, uh, the coin laundry to take care of. But other than that, for uh, your regular clothes. Uh, I think if you do uh, three small loads a week, you should be just fine. I'm really happy with it, and I'm glad I purchased it. And so if I were to give it a rating, I would say it's between a B plus and an A. I, I nicked it a little bit because it's a little too small. I'd like them to have a larger option as well. And because the handle, uh, the handle seems vulnerable, and I've heard of them breaking off. So again, be sure to hold it low down on the base and move slowly so that uh, you don't break the equipment and never overload it. All right, thanks for watching this episode of Broke Aristocrats. Be sure and share, like, subscribe, tell me what you're doing to take care of yourself and tell me if you've ever used an eco laundry uh, machine like the type I've used. I'm really happy with it and I'm so glad that I don't have to take that, you know, five block hike to the laundromat uh, more, as well, more than say a couple times a year at this point. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.